Damn, that's hot. And. Hey, leave it, leave it, leave it. How's it going, everyone? Team Wilder here today for another video. Gonna be doing a gear review and reviewing the Pyro Putty Dual Arc Plasma Lighter. Pretty high tech gadget that I actually just added to my pack, added to Team Wilder's pack. Pretty cool little piece of gear. We're gonna be going through the parts. We're gonna be going through the specs. I've got a couple demos as well. I like to do some demos. My dog is breaking ice in the background. It's a little cold today. Um, I'm, I'm all bundled up, got a beanie on. Uh, but anyway, gonna get into this. Please hit like and subscribe below. We're really trying to get those that subscriber count up. So smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button as well. Also, I'm gonna be reviewing the Pyro Putty Winter Putty, the Winter Blend. Only do, reviewing the Winter Blend today. There's, man, I wanna say seven different blends, seven or eight different blends out there. Uh, some for home, some for outdoors. It is winter right now, it's cold, so figure this would be a good time for the Winter Putty. If you'd like to see a more full-scale putty review, not just the lighter, but with the putty, please let me know in the comment section below. Just say, hey, Adam, hey, Team Wilder, we want to see a pyro putty review. Uh, there's about seven of these. All of them are a little bit different. That'd be a cool video, too. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I dropped the lighter in there a couple minutes ago uh, before the intro there, and it's still there. Luckily, my dog goose was walking all over it i was worried it was going to be lost in the mud so. so this is actually part of the first demo it's a 100 percent waterproof lighter gonna put that to the test really just did um kind of buried in some sand very cold water obviously there's ice on it my dog's broken most of it now but it should still light uh so we're gonna go ahead and do the kind of an unboxing show what you would get in the box when, if you were just purchase it and we'll get started into the specs all right so just wanted to do an unboxing kind of show what you would get if you were to just buy this lighter. Um, it's the Pyro Putty Dual Arc Plasma Lighter. Again, it's a rechargeable lighter. I'll show the USB cord here and kind of do a little bit of a demo charging it. It's got some basic specs, uh, fully waterproof. Again, we'll put that to the test, gonna check that out. Up to 300 lights per charge. Comes with a nice little box too. And then sands, water, lighter of course. Comes with about a five to six inch uh, micro USB cord, and that's micro USB. As long as you got something to plug into, you should be able to charge your lighter. Comes with a lanyard. And it did come with a winter uh, putty sample as well. I currently have the summer orange in here. The first time I used it, I used the winter putty as a just kind of a demo for myself, just to make sure I, I knew what I was doing. Uh, but that's what the summer one looks like. And then it comes with just a pyro putty card. It's got more uh, specs as far as the battery goes, the voltage, the current that travels through that. And that's the box. Now for the winter putty, the, uh, the winter blend, I should say. It's a proprietary blend, really pretty simple. Open the box. Now it's a can. Um, should be waterproof as far as I know. Probably should have tested that, but uh, Pyro Putty, it is made in the USA. Now, it's kind of interesting looking. So this is what the putty is, and the winter blend is actually going to be a little bit thinner. I'll get into that a little bit later, but if you can see this, the fibers, the fibers on the winter blend are a little bit thinner. So more of the surface area is on the outside which means it's gonna be a little bit easier to light, especially in cold temperatures, uh, which is what I'm in now. I, again, perfect time for the winter putty to be used. Uh, it's about 22 degrees, 21 degrees today. It's supposed to snow a little bit later. Thought I'd get out here uh, for a nice little morning walk with my dog. Uh, beautiful day, to, or beautiful day, beautiful morning. So, so that was the parts, kind of an unboxing. The slider should still work. It's supposed to be fully waterproof. And I just wanted to go over the operation very simple everyone little pull down lever there not really sure what that is but pull that down it's going to have that airtight seal that watertight seal it's got a button here a lever push that up and it's supposed to come up i think it has a little bit of grit in it for my dog i shake the water off the outside there and moment of truth so 
Is it waterproof? I'd say so, pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna get into the specs now. Gonna do uh, specs on the pyro putty itself. Gonna do specs on the lighter. And then for the last demo, I'm actually going to get a little fire started. Given that it's winter, given how cold it is, I'm right next to a stream, feel pretty comfortable setting up a little fire for everyone just to do that demo. Look at that. Look at how adorable this is. Chris, what are you doing? All right, let's get into the specs on the lighter. Start with dimensions here. So the length, the weight, or the width and the depth, the length is gonna be two and five eighths inches, centimeters here on the screen. It's gonna be two and seven eight inches wide, this way. And then the depth, it's gonna be five eighths of an inch. So that's this way. Pretty packable. I feel pretty comfortable throwing that in my lightweight pack, really any season. Uh, pretty cool there. It's gonna be fully waterproof. Gone over that a few times, put that to the test. And now the technology itself, it is a plasma lighter. It is a dual arc plasma lighter. Uh, what that means, I, I don't wanna get too scientific here. That's not the point of the video. Uh, plasma is the fourth state of matter. So you have solids, liquids, and gases. The fourth one would be plasma. There's actually eight states of matter, but, or phases of matter. But this one is the fourth. Plasma is very hot, uh, obviously, very, very warm. The way the uh, plasma arc works, it connects two, uh, I guess, two beams of ionized gas together, forming an arc. Uh, passes between two nodes, connects to form an arc. And it's a dual arc, which is why they cross. Again, don't wanna to get too scientific here. Um, some examples of plasma, you know, in the real world, uh, you know, for commercial use, for, for human usage, we use them in neon signs. Uh, we use them in uh, arc, arc welding, you know, welders. And then in nature, the Aurora Borealis, the Aurora Australis, lightning uh, this actually this is probably a great example of lightning uh, this is lightning in a in, in a handheld and a handheld gadget i guess so lightning in a handheld gadget and examples in nature would be aurora borealis aurora australis for plasma all right enough about plasma so uh the dimensions there we'll get into the battery as well i do want to talk about the battery it's going to be usb rechargeable when you do plug in the USB, I'm gonna show that here as well, with my Luminade lighter, or with my Luminade lantern. All right, so micro USB, plug that in. And the USB is on the front here. You do have to open it. Not a fan of that, but it is what it is. Plug that in. And it's charging. Pretty cool. Uh, to charge anywhere on the go, especially if you have a little solar lantern like this. Uh, you're never really gonna run out of power. You got portable battery packs, battery packs, uh, cell phone chargers, really anything that you can plug the USB cord into, you can charge your lighter. All right, for some of the specs that I missed here, the weight's gonna be 1.7 ounces, very light. If you're putting this in your backpack, if you're putting this in your car, in your bag, everyday carry, in your purse, I mean, 1.7 ounces, very, very light. It can go almost anywhere with you and it's very compact. For the voltage, uh, the power of the, of the lighter itself, it's gonna be 3.7 volts and the current is 220 ampere hours. An ampere is a unit of electrical charge and again, don't really want to get into that. That's not the point of the video. Uh, let's get into the pyro putty specs here. All right, so the winter putty, the pyro putty winter blend, it is a proprietary blend. Uh, they say it's probably the greenest way to get an, an instant spark. Pretty pretty cool catchphrase there. Uh, just wanted to kind of show this again, very thin, fibrous material. It, it is kind of, it is gooey. It does leave a residue on my hand. Uh, a lot of uses for this, not just as a fire starter, uh, supposedly, you can use it to seal um, tents or um, an object that's supposed to be waterproof. You're supposed to be able to thin this out, smear it over, and it should create a temporary watertight seal. I'll have to test that out. Again, comment below if you want to see a uh, full-fledged pyro putty 
uh, the putty review. Um, it does glow on the trailhead or around your camp. If you shine UV light into this for a given amount of time, put that on a stick, stick that in the side of the trail or around your camp, should give you a nice little bit of illumination there. When I do light that fire a little bit later, show you how it's supposed to be used. Essentially, you just pull, pull some of the putty out and given that it's cold, it's pretty stiff here. And you wanna make a quarter size quarter size circle, essentially. About like this. You wrap that around a small stick, put that in with your tender, give it a spark with the plasma lighter, and supposedly you have a flame, you have a fire. Uh, some items on the box I just wanted to highlight here. The winter blend says that the range is negative 20 to 70, degree, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Celsius will be on the screen here as well. So that is the range with in which I'm supposed to be able to light this. Given that it's about 20, 22 today, should be right in the middle, should be perfect. It does have two of the other uh, blends. These are more of their outdoor blends. They've got a summer blend. The range on that is 40 to 110 degrees. So you're not gonna be able to light it in as wide of a range as temperatures or uh, the, the temperature range is just different. And then the Eco Blend, uh, it doesn't have the ranges here. It's re made with 100% renewable resources though. Did some research on that. You want me to do a, a review on these other ones on the home use blend they've got some home use blends um, let me know let me know in the comment section and if you made it this far you better hit that like button hit like and subscribe so got my stick got my putty got my fire situated here i just chopped up a, a small log real quick they're cold so i'm hoping this is going to work it should goose is still breaking ice And again, got that roughly quarter size piece. I'm gonna get a little bit more than what I had. That should work right there. I've done this at home, so. And wrap that on the stick just like that. Uh, supposedly, this will actually stay lit while floating in water. We could try that. All right, so I'll get this close. All right, so I got a flame here. Should burn for 15 minutes. I'm going to just set this nicely right in the center of my TP there and uh, let it hang out for a minute. So while that fire is getting started there, just kind of wanted to, you know, explain why I bought this. Um, tried a lot of different fire starters, a lot of store items, um, a lot of different techniques. Once you get out to the woods, um, you, get, you gotta try everything. You gotta have as many options, as many tools in your toolbox as possible out here. Um, but this one was pretty cool. It's a rechargeable lighter. I find that really awesome, uh, for lack of better words. Uh, just a cool, cool idea. The, they're not brand new, they've been out for I want to say probably five to 10 years at most. Just a really cool piece of technology. Um, again, utilizing plasma, the, the fourth phase of, or the fourth state of matter, ionized gas. Um, so I added that to our repertoire. It's, it's going to go with me pretty much anywhere. Um, I'm, I'm thinking long-term storage will be in my truck, you know, just in case. I, of course, have my pack in there as well, but it's always nice to have, I mean, up to 300 lights. That's that's a lot of lights. Expect to get some good use out of that. You'll see it in future videos, I'm sure. Garrett, Garrett mentioned I was going to do that in one of his duck hunting videos. Hope everyone's liking those as well. Uh, he's new at that. We're, we're, at, we're having fun making those videos. I'd like to get out one day and, and go out there with them. I don't have a hunting license, but maybe get out there and do some footage or go camping with them. It'd be pretty fun. Nice. All right, gonna warm my hands up here. Get ready to go. This works pretty well. I'm pretty happy by this. Let's let's try that one more, one last demo here. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. The putty's starting to, yeah, the putty just fell off, guys. I'm sorry about that. 
let this burn down and get out of here. All right, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me and Goose today. Uh, thanks for checking out the dual arc plasma lighter from Pyro Putty and the winter blend. Working pretty well. Hands are warming up, getting ready to go, uh, go back home. Uh, I was just on a, a day walk with Goose, day hike, a good day. Again, thanks for hanging out. Please hit like and subscribe. If you've made it this far, if you made it to the end, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let me know below if you'd like to see a pyro putty, a full scale pyro putty video talking about all the blends. And uh, well, they're out. He's been bugging me all the whole time I've been here to do this, so. Look, look at this. Look, look at him. Look at him. Just a bull in a china cabinet. Get it, goose. Jeez.